हेलो फ्रेंड्स नमस्ते आई एम सचिन पटनायक आई विल बी शोइंग यू ए लाइव सेशन ऑन हायरिंग ऑफ मैन पावर थ्रू जेम आई विल आल्सो शो यू हाउ टू बंच मोर देन वन नंबर ऑफ मैन पावर सर्विसेज इन वन बीड इन द नियर फ्यूचर आई विल आल्सो शो यू हाउ टू डिसाइड ए मैन पावर हायरिंग केस इन जेम आफ्टर ओपनिंग ऑफ द बीड प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल फॉर getting more such videos in future go to services and search manpower you will find two types of manpower outsourcing services one is fixed remuneration and the other one is minimum wage if you have estimated your hiring as per minimum wage go for minimum wage manpower outsourcing services otherwise if you have fixed a higher value for the salary of the manpower outsourcing then select manpower outsourcing services now once you reach in the, this base go to contract start date put the date from which you want to start the contract say from january 1st january 21 to 31st december 2021 then you have to select the tenure and duration of employment you select to, for 12 months for basic monthly pay you have to calculate backwards from the total amount you want to pay for the services say for particularly this category i have planned to give 22000 rupees per month so i need to calculate backwards deducting the pf and esi so the amount comes to 19625 so i put the basic monthly pay in that way then of course provident fund will be 1% esi will be 1% if you don't want to pay the bonus you say zero and other charges also like yield i also zero there are three non mandatory compliances written here if you don't have any non mandatory compliance put zero in all those uh, boxes and now you give the designation of the service you want to hire so in this case i am going for stenographer now go and select the consignees now you have to select the number of resources you want say i need four stenographers in this case so i selected four now type of function you have to select admin because stenographer comes in admin then from the list of profile you can select stenographer education qualification it has to be graduate so i have selected graduate specialization there is no specialization particular specialization required here so i will select all the specific specializations mentioned here commerce economics arts science management uh, engineering all those things i will select so that i don't restrict my requirements to any particular branch of study now post graduation it is not required for in this case so i don't select it and specialization again not applicable in this case now once you select these things then go to the experience in this particular case i don't need much experience so i select 0 to 3 years now in case of adam there is no other certification or training required here so once i select this i am finding a lot of offers if you say see you find that all the percentage of service charges are different otherwise other things are constant for all the uh, offers so as per our requirement select a service percentage up to which i can allow for uh, quoting so i select the number 2 which is for the value of 24581.49 i add it to the cart now it is appearing in the cart so value is 24581.48 i can also add other manpower hiring here so in my case i am adding five types of 
manpower hiring so to do that just click in the left hand side you go to the same page if you see the page here you it writes that you can add whatever services in the same card so the contract start date and end date are uh, already fixed tenure is you can always change the tenure and the salary also you can change in this case i am whatever showing is uh, for a training assistant to whom i am ready to pay 28000 so i am back calculating in the same way what i did in case of stenographer other things are the same as whatever i had explained in stenographer so now again i'll go for the select consignee i'll see how many resources i want so i need four here also so i said okay now type of function will be others in this case and list of profile if you see there is no profile which matches with the training assistants so in this case i will choose training assistants i am not finding any such profile available so i will go for a customized profile so you can see there is no available profile for training assistant so i go for customized value and i put training assistant in that customized value other things we can choose as per our requirement so after selecting all these things i find some offers i will add to my cart once i add to the cart you can see it asks you add to existing cart if you say add to existing cart you can see that two types of manpower have been added in the same cart at this juncture please keep your scope of work ready make it a pdf document and keep it ready for uploading during bidding process please keep your scope of work and job description ready in a pdf format this will be required to be uploaded during the bidding process so you need to clearly write what will be the scope of work for the different manpower you are hiring so that should be followed after the contract is given in this video i have bounced five manpower services stenographer training assistant uh, and other things so you can add manpower outsourcing sourcing service minimum wage also in this cart now proceed to check out then you will go to the next stage where you have to opt for bidding then once you stay bid then you have to confirm that you have to check the rate reasonability now you have entered into the various stages of bidding the first stage is specification there are all five main powers whatever we have trying to hire here so you have to select each of them and you have to check whether the specification you have given is correct if it is correct then save it accordingly you have to save for all those five types of manpowers then continue you will go to the next stage consignee reporting officer in this case also for all five types of manpower hiring services you have to check the consignee and other details here you can change the nature of uh, months and other things and again you save you need to do it for all five types of manpower same in the same way then press continue you go to the next stage where you have to set the bid uh, uh opening date so you can give 10 days it can go up to 80 days so once you fix the bid opening date now bid life cycle which is the maximum time you are allowed to finish the tendering process and bid offer validity is you can go up to 80 days so 
then next is uh, you have to go for bid estimated value which is the estimation you have made before going for this bidding process so for each manpower hiring you have to put your estimated value so for all five types of manpower you have to put the estimated value now save and proceed so once it is saved the total value estimated value comes in this box then you go to contract duration please see this contract duration you can go up to five years at a time five years if you add some months also it can go up to six years now it uh, you come to participants eligibility criteria depending on your rules and regulation you can go for eligibility criteria there are two eligibility criteria one is turnover one is project experience depending on your requirement you can select them so once you select them you have to abide by james uh, criteria like 30 percent bid or turnover and project experience whatever is as per gem so in that case you have to ask for document required from seller you have to choose those documents which you are asking for here so again uh, if you want to give exemption to msc and startup you have to say yes in that case also you want to you should say what exemptions you are want to give in this case say we have given no if so now that scope of work what you have prepared you must upload here at this stage so the scope of work will say that nature of work and whom to report and all those things there are other columns also here try not to fill up these columns because during your technical uh, scrutiny you need to check these things yourself so if you try to keep it uh, mini to the minimum so that you don't get face problems only i would suggest that for geographic uh, ge geographic presence you can give your state name so basically if he is not from your state so uh, he will not uh, be able to uh, get the uh, become eligible basically uh, so th that is the only criteria you should give and uh, there is also a least cost method based revaluation you can do it here but if you are not going for uh, for that go for l1 uh, method now pre-bid details if you want a pre-bid meet, meeting you can go for that but generally in this case you are you don't go for that go to the next place where you have to go for emd and epbg now as per the new rule emd is not to be taken so you say no and for epbg we the new rule is that up to three percent you will take it so you have to give the advisory bank and uh, other details like uh, percentage of epbg and duration of epbg duration will be if you are going for one year contract then generally another two months we keep in our hand for uh, the duration of epbg then you have to also give the beneficiary details on the basis of which the epbg will be generated so uh, enter those data and save it now you are going to the terms and condition phase in terms and condition you will find a lot of uh, terms and conditions additional terms and conditions you uh, are available what i say you don't have to select all this one clause this is payment clause that is very important please select it because this ensures that the seller uh, pays to his employees before claiming payment from you similarly another important uh, uh, clause uh, uh, terms and condition is availability of office uh, in your state and dedicated toll free number these are the main uh, uh, terms and condition you should add there are some forms of emd and pbg all those things are there so uh, these are basically not very much required you can uh, th th these three th things will do so now you proceed for the next step submit it and you are reaching to the last but one page that uh, now you have to verify the otp so once you say i agree to the terms and condition you get the bid document please save the bid document <coughs> during tender opening it will be required uh, then verify the otp 
and publish it this way your tender gets published please like share and subscribe this video thank you